Hello, I am Sheila of Young. Today's event, Gallery of Talent Exhibition, focuses on the works of these talented minds. Though challenged by autism spectrum disorder, dyslexia, Down syndrome, and other learning disabilities, they have been able to communicate to the public what lies within them. While looking through this ingenious works of this case. We need to prove to the world that yes, our children are not perfect, but they're a functional part of society. They can contribute. Their artwork is beautiful. The mats, you can take the mats home and eat on it, and it will last you for years. So, you know, they can play music, they can dance, they can sing. The movies they made, they came up with the ideas themselves. As you can tell, it was improvisation. So they did everything by themselves. They're creative people. We just need to give them the opportunity. So that's the whole essence, to tell the world that you must give them the opportunity so they too can be functional members, productive members of society. I'm really deeply touched by the effort of the kids. Um, in the U.S., they have advocates for them. Here, we do not have advocates. And the little but giant steps they are making here with your help in the media is going to help the government design specific policies for getting and training young, even adult edu and challenge kids. I would advise them not to hide the children because that's another problem that we are facing in Nigeria. We are stigmatizing them. So it's good to bring out the children, let them go out, let them mix up with other kids, let them relate with other people. Put them in school, let them meet other peers and make friends with them. Because all this helps them a lot. The U.S. Embassy in Nigeria is to assist various educational institutions, whether serving students with um, learning disabilities or regular students uh, at all levels of education. At the mission, one of our key goals is called promoting opportunity and development. So we support the school here because it's creating opportunity for students with learning disabilities in Nigeria. Let's take a minute to ponder how we can lend a helping hand. Let's get them inclusive and advocate for them. I know, I know. I know. 